It's crazy because everybody might feel different about 50 Cent. But to me, 50 is someone you don't want to be on the other side of that line when it comes to beefing. Like, if anything, you want to be on the side of 50. Why? Because 50 got time. Remember that gang banging video with that short white nigga? Today I got time. That's 50 Cent in my head when it comes to being petty. You lucky on that day I was acting cool, cuz. I told you I ain't got time for that, but nigga, today I got time, cuz. 50 over here says something though during this interview that I've been saying for quite a while if you guys been paying attention to these videos. I think a lot of this happened not because Diddy's been on some weirdo time because they've been saying, oh wait, that means that they've been having hints about this in the industry forever. Nobody's shocked. What I really think it was was the information we started seeing happening between him and Ciroc where he was allegedly gonna sue. I don't remember the exact case, but I remember those headlines coming up with him getting in beef with the executives over at Ciroc and stuff like that with De Leon and all that. I don't think it was De Leon. I think the main issue was Ciroc. I'm not sure if it's the same owners that I don't. But I remember telling you guys, those are people you don't want to get upset. You don't want to get upset. When you're a billionaire like Diddy at times, like Kanye, you were like, yo, I'm a billionaire. I can say whatever I want. You saw how fast they took that out of Kanye's hand. And you saw how fast they threw this nigga in head first in the jail like Jazzy Jeff. I'm going to keep using that. It's my bring up his name because the way that they threw him out is insane. <laughs> Let's see what 50 has to say about that topic of a lot of this happening right now has to do with him getting certain executives upset. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below. We're on that road to 10,000 subscribers. So up at 10,000, we will give away one of our unboxings. And if you're new to this channel, check out some of the unboxings on this channel. We always go nuts. We're going to give one of them away as soon as we hit 10,000 subs. Skip. You have the experience with major corporations like me. My particular experience with Beam Centauri, it was great in the beginning. It's great for us to work for them. It's not so cool when you start to own things. You see what I'm saying? So I made a lot of money with them, too. Like, there's a point. They, they did a deal that mirrored what Puffy's deal with Diageo was for Syrah. So he didn't have ownership of that at any point, but he was getting a line of money, like almost like $60 million a year at one point. So you see him go to Daily on is when you see him have some issues. And these people have really strong relationships. All right, so when he said he's going to De Leon, so I'm assuming those companies are not the same. De Leon and Ciroc are not the same. Not that they're not the same bottle, that we definitely know, but I was thinking about the major brand that owns. Don't think that the civil case doesn't turn into a criminal case faster because he's making that them uncomfortable. That's a big part of it. The spirits business is it's not governed. They got a discus board that they created, right? If you got two companies that are $3 billion a year and Beam Centauria and Diageo, the, the distribution level, it's very hard for you to get things to a point where you can do the numbers, the right numbers. They incentivize the sales force by giving them box bonuses. And then when you sell a product, you get the bonuses off the boxes that's there. But you make that no matter what product you sell. So if, if you sell Hennessy or Remy out the gate, they start to put downward pressure on the new companies. But that's insane. He was breaking it down. I never even thought about it. The spirit business is not governed. That's crazy. That's insane. So you, behind the scenes, if we're already thinking that the governor's ran by some Illuminati and some dark, dark forces, all conspiracy theories, all alleged. But that's, you know, what we've seen videos about on the internet. Imagine what's in, like the wild, wild west, like the spirit business. That, yo, that's like some mafia shit from back in the day. Remember, they were bootlegging it back in the day. Shout out to Al Capone. Today, today, they're on the same time and just without the legal issue. Uh, I don't want to get hit with no copyright or nothing, but I can't find the, the full thing of this fest. It looks like they were part of a board during this festival speaking. There's another clip. Let's just watch this together. I've seen some people that recorded it that were there. There's video. So if you guys want to see the full video, I suggest you go do that. Or if you can support them, which is earn your leisure by any way go check that out if not again just search 50 cent eyl and you'll see people that were there recording with their cell phones and things like that but let's see what else 50 had to share it's the largest debut on hip-hop 13 million records get richard die trying absolute classic now nah, we need more no noise for get richard die trying i gotta stop ah! God, yeah. All right. and and then the first television show is the highest rated on that particular network so it makes gives you the cash that kind of allowed me a little more leverage with the things what you say what you say <laughs> man i don't even like them <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the truth. Right? I can't what he said. Because me and you are having this personal conversation right now. Hold on, hold on. Did anybody catch what he said? I couldn't even hear what the dude yelled. The heckler. I don't even know if he would consider a heckler during this, but let me know if you guys know exactly what he screams out. I'm gonna tell you the truth, right? <laughs> yeah. Kind of allowed me a little more leverage with the things. What'd you say? What'd you say? Stars? Man, I don't even like that. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the truth, right? <laughs> Because me and you are having this personal conversation right now. It was about stars like the pay-per-view where it first started? I really don't like these people, right? But it's not about me liking them or, or them liking me. It's about what's good for business. So they go, you think they like that? Like when I say things online, I say, yo, it look like, oh, they all went to school on a small yellow bus. Say some wild shit to them, people, man. Like they look and go, what you say? Get his phone. Why you say some more shit? Like, you know what I mean? Like, but this is it's one of those things where I don't want to, like, I don't want to make the other executives afraid to work with me. Somebody got a boo like this shit and send it to me. Like, where is the full thing? Pause. I feel like I got to pause. No, but this is, that was a fire clip.
good. What is good? Business? All right, at this point, let's just watch this one too. It's only 30 seconds. One of the unwritten laws of business. One of the unwritten laws of businesses appear not to need anything. Because everybody will do your favor when you don't need one. If they can expect, if they can expect a bigger favor in return or a favor from you at some later point, they'll find the ability to just do it. Yeah, no problem. That's why they tell me no. I go. The television said they want they on strike. I say okay, I'm on tour. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? My dad has gave me that lesson my whole life, no cap. Yo, that's crazy. I'm gonna send that to him. Let me copy that for one of the videos done. I'm gonna send that to my pops. That's hilarious. He's always talked about that to me. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think there's any 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 backing to that by any chance of what 50 Cent was sharing in this? That he believes Diddy going against those Ciroc people. And let's look up exactly what was going on. Let's see. Diddy versus Ciroc. I got the hood on smash. Yo, why is my shit on Microsoft Bing? has lost his ownership of Ciroc and De Leon Tequila in recent settlement with premium drink company Diago. As a part of the settlement, Diddy had to withdraw all previous allegations. Dismiss his lawsuit claiming the company acted with prejudice against him. Shout out to Roland now. So there you can go. You see, he was suing the company for Ciroc and then they end up settling. But people are saying, uh, stepping on those toes is, you know, I see a lot of conspiracy saying that's really what had all this come out against him. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Share your thoughts. Once again, at 10,000 subscribers, we will be doing a huge giveaway. So sub up, sub up, sub up.